as you know, the hearing is a follow-up of a hearing we had last year in The Hague, uh, and there we um, we argued that uh, Judge Orange, uh, due to his involvement in the Yukos case ten years ago and his familiarity with the two lawyers that were at that time fighting side to side with him, uh, which are the same lawyers that are now um, supporting the Crimea museums, we felt that this jeopardized his position as a uh, chairman of the court. And he has uh, objected against that. The court last year has ruled that uh, he was right, that they didn't see a problem. And we had accepted that. But uh, mid this year we received a uh, letter from uh, uh, an attorney that we know who uh, gave us lots of information and documents showing that Mr. Orange had not been telling the exact truth in that meeting. And that made us feel very uncomfortable. Um, so for that reason we have challenged him again in this uh, uh, court and the reason is that uh, we should not have to deal with a judge that uh, apparently is not telling the truth. So this hearing was all about the question whether Mr. Orange has yes or no been truthful in that hearing last year. Um, so well, we have been able to present our case well. Uh, but there was, a, there was a strange thing that was happening that was that one of the judges today sitting over this case uh, wasn't feeling well, she felt sick a little bit. Uh, so we had to stop in the middle. Um, but it seems that uh, we, we all agreed that the court will uh, come up with a judgment on the basis of what has been exchanged today at the time that the, the ill judge was still there. So um, yes, we will get a judgment. and. Um, well, we have good hopes. Uh, it is uh, we presented the case well, and we'll just have to see.